hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my beginner nail tech haul from Amazon all of these products will be listed below in the description of this video so feel free to grab any of these goodies if you need them so this is my first impression opening the boxes pulling things out of the packages with you guys and I could not wait like I could not wait um, I did pre-open the packages, but I didn't pull anything out to look at it. I wanted to do that on film, and here we are. So in this box, first up, we have ourselves some prep tools. Yes, indeed. I thought these were really pretty, and they fit my aesthetic. We've got our cuticle nippers there, our nail trimmer, um, cuticle pushers, all of your prep tools. Next up, we've got this Morvan Professional Nail System. I will be doing an unboxing on this. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do videos on the Morvan kits, and I can't wait to play with mine. And that will be my next video for you guys, is unbox unboxing this kit. Next up, I've got some full coverage nail tips. I got these for practicing nail art, as well as to use with my practice silicone hand. Um, and I did pull these out and kind of play with them a little bit. And just feel them and they feel like great quality again I'm, I'm a beginner I, I don't know but <laughs> um, they're not super flimsy and they're not really thick they seemed really nice next up we do have some dental uh, bibs or nail table mats is what they were labeled as but they're they're dental bibs and I got this cool green I thought it was pretty next up I have here for you guys some more nail tips um, now these I was super curious about these are actually really really cool great quality on these as well it's got that C curve cut out I really love a clear tip honestly they're my favorite they just feel so clean and fresh next up we have some Mia secret acrylic powder I've seen really really seen and heard really good things about this powder within the nail community so I grabbed it. Um, they say you're supposed to practice with the stuff that you think you're going to be using. And I wanted to grab that as like my base acrylic. Next up, we just got some nail files and buffers, 8080 grit on the nail files. The buffers, I don't remember, but it is in the description down below. Next up, look at this, you guys. I thought this was so ridiculous. They sent me this huge box and that's all that was in there. I was like, what? <laughs> Can you tell I left that post editing because I'm like, oh my God, but we do open the cutest and tiniest, might I add, dap and dish I have ever seen. Um, this is way too small for me. I'm going to be learning with a size 12 brush. There's no way I can dip and wipe in this tiny little dish. So I will be returning these, but gosh, is it not adorable? I just need it to be like three times the size. You know what I mean? So those will be a return, but they are listed below. Super, super cute. Next up in this box, we are pulling out some top coats and my Lavenda, my Lavenda e-file. So this is the McCart top coat. I know they have top coat in a bunch of different like bottles and stuff. I don't know the difference. I picked this one because it was a two pack of top coat only. With practice nails, I don't need a base coat so to speak so that's why i chose it and next up is the lavenda professional nail drill which i will be doing an unboxing and first impression video on as well this is probably the most expensive thing that i purchased one of three of the most expensive things in my haul and this is probably the second most expensive thing that i'm pulling out right now and it is my professional nail lamp I will also do an unboxing video on this as well. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Love, love, love the hint of bling. It had amazing reviews, so I can't wait to use it. Next up, we've got a little bling kit. Um, and it's just some white and gold based rhinestones and a couple of application tools. Nothing crazy, but they look to be great quality. Next up, I do have the very microphone that I'm recording this with. It is the Pop Voice microphone. I did see this from another um, nail content creator that starting bare bones, this was probably the best microphone for the 
best bang for your buck so i did give it a try and you guys let me know down below in the comments how's the sound quality on it next up we've got the mia secret liquid monomer again i've heard nothing but amazing things about mia secret and that it's a universal monomer so i'm gonna go with what's recommended i'll let you know how it works out Next up, I do have some press-on nail stickies. Um, this is for, again, my silicone practice hand so that I don't mangle the hand with too much glue. Speaking of glue, we've got a 15 pack of nail glue here. I figured this is gonna last me for a while. So um, they're little bottles, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have them for a while, I'm sure. Next up, I do have some more nail tips. I know you guys are like, geez, how many packs of tips did you get, girly? Um, I got a few different ones because, again, as a beginner, I want to practice with different things. Um, again, these are square tips, and I did get some, was it square and coffin? Yeah, square and coffin tips, and they are also clear. I have a thing for clear tips. They just feel clean and crisp, and I don't know. I just, I just love them. Next up is the star of the show for me it is my silicone hand she's about the third most expensive thing that i purchased um, and the reason i opted for the silicone hand over the plastic articulated hand is i wanted something that was going to feel and look as realistic as possible um, it's really squishy and she feels real my first impression is like dang they gave me the you know arthritic edition but that's okay baby girl just needed her fingers straightened out she had been in that box for a while she needed a little massage as you can see they did blushing on the knuckles um, the fingers articulate pretty well i'm really happy with it and it does have those weld cuticles instead of the nail sitting like on top of the nail bed like some of the practice hands i do like that it gives a more natural look by being able to put the nail tip inside the cuticle so yeah I didn't mind going a little more expensive for my practice hand for more realism and last but not least this is the item I was most surprised by um, this is the edit time rhinestone set it did come with these beautiful sticker decals. Um, you're supposed to get four sheets, but I ended up getting five. So they slipped me an extra one in there. Was super excited about that. Um, and they're really cute. These ones are like kind of a blushy. I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but I'm definitely going to play with them. And then there's that extra sheet of duplicated roses that I got. And then we get into the rhinestones themselves, you guys. Look at this this is absolutely freaking stunning stunning stuff so we're gonna open it up and i love the packaging and at first i thought it was one big tray and i'm like oh it's little trays look at the qualities on the the qualities the quality on these stones <laughs> even the glitter flakes and the foil specks are so pretty and vibrant they catch the light really really well look at those you get a lot of different colors some different shapes there some different sizes i'm really excited to play with these i was really 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 happy with these um i'm not gonna lie i was most surprised i think i paid less for this than the other rhinestone pack so yeah that is it for my haul the one thing you guys don't see in the video is my acrylic application brush which is a size 12. they didn't send it to me so i had to request another one be mailed out but until next video, when I play with all these goodies, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. And thank you guys for being a part of the Pretty Nail Vibes tribe. Until next time, ciao!